Hello everyone. Today we're going to actually do something a little backwards. Or most of the time people do it the other way around. I'm doing it backwards. We're actually going to go with one graphics card and three CPUs. Usually people choose CPUs first and then get a graphics card. But if the subject is gaming, and if we're strictly building a gaming computer, the most important part is going to be the graphics card. So it only makes sense that you should spend most of the money on a graphic card. We're going to benchmark 15 games and the goal here is to see if GTX 1070 is too much graphics card for the Ryzen 3 1200. On hand, I only have MSI Armor 1070 and the Ryzen 5 1600 and we're going to simulate the Ryzen 3 1200 by um, disabling two of the cores and disabling multi-threading and we're going to do the same thing for the Ryzen 5 1400 or 1500X by disabling two cores but keeping the multi-threading on. That way we get four cores, eight threads. One problem with simulating 1200 and the 1400 though is going to be the L3 cache size differences. On 1600 we have 16 megabytes and on the 1200 and 1400 it's 8 megabytes of cache. Keep that in mind. That should make about probably about six percent difference between performance but uh, as you're going to see i don't think it's going to make a huge difference for all benchmark testing we're using the cpu at 3.8 gigahertz we have 16 gigs of memory and it's running at 2933 megahertz all game footage is going to run for about 45 seconds that's so you guys can look at the GPU usage versus the CPU usage to get a better idea of the relationship between the CPU and the GPU.
now let's take a look at the averages of the 14 games. I left Far Cry 4 out, those numbers are out of whack, and I tried over and over different spots in the game and constantly 1200 did much better than 1400 and 1600 so I just left it out. As you can see on the screen difference between the 1200 and the 1600 isn't really that much. There's a bigger difference I guess in the 1% uh, minimums but overall the price difference between Ryzen 3 1200 and the Ryzen 5 1600 is definitely not reflected in these numbers. So let's answer the original question. Do do you think the GTX 1070 is too much graphics card for Ryzen 3 1200? In most games, 1200 is able to push the GTX 1070 all the way up as much as it can go, and that is reflected in those numbers we just saw. Of course, we can all look at the same numbers and deduct different results. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, it was helpful to some of you. See you next time.